But we start with the WEF test. I'll come to the name WEF test later, but let's first do the test. And we did not uh, develop a test ourselves. Hans Rusling did it for us. And you might be familiar with Hans Rusling. Who's familiar with Hans Rusling? Yeah, several of you. Yeah, several of you. Knowledge is advancing. So um, I suppose you will do a test very well, Friso, if you know Rusling. Rusling was a, Dan a, a Swedish doctor and statistician. And he made a, a, a few very important books. If you don't know him, his books are piled both in English and in Dutch in the bookstores in the city for just 12 euro 50, so that's no problem. And read it, read it, it's important to, to, know, to know that. But let's first do his test about the state of our society. And on the second page of your handout, you see four questions. Yeah. And the first question, so take, take your pen and make a choice. Yeah, it's a master class. <laughs> there are no rewards to win. <laughs> so the first question, in the last 20 years, the proportion of the world population living in extreme poverty since 2000, between 2000 and 2020, 2019, the proportion of world population living in extreme poverty has almost doubled, remains more or less, less the same, or see almost halved. So what's your guess? Yeah, and circle it, yeah. And then the second question. What is the expectancy of life expectancy of the world today? How long can a, a newborn baby expect to live on Earth? Is it 50 years on Earth? All countries developed and undeveloped countries together. What is the life expectancy of the world today? 50 years, 60 years, or 70 years? So make your choice. Worldwide, 30 year old man has spent 10 years in school, on average. How many years have women of the same age, 30 years, spent in school? Nine years, six years? Three years. You understand the importance of these questions. And they say a lot about the condition humaine. And then the fourth question. There are two billion children aged zero to 15 years in the world. How many children will there be according to the best predictions right now available, United Nations, in the year um, 2100? But double, four billion, three billion, or two billion? Yeah? So you make your choices? All right. Let's go back to question one. In the last 20 years, the proportion of the world population living in extreme poverty almost doubled. Who choose for A? That's one third of you. Remain more or less the same. It's a tiny group. C, almost half. So we have very literate audience here. Uh, it was C, it was C. Um, and you, it was a great uh, performance. Half of you had the right answer. And I come to that, to a WEF test. The second one, what's the life expectancy of the world today? A. B, C, it was C, it was C. So if you are smart, you'll dis discover some, some rationale already in this game. Worldwide, how many years education by, taken by women of 30 years? Nine, nine years, six years, or three years? A, B, C, it was C. 
Het was hij. No, 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 no. I, I, I do it for me. No, 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 no. Sorry. Excuse. I apologize. No. We have to do it again. A. Who chose A? It was A. If I conduct this test in other groups, this is the most difficult question. It is difficult to grasp that the position of women is fastly improving, fairly fast improving. We will come to that during this masterclass a few more times. It's fast improving. And most people are not, not aware of that. So fast it, it's going. And the last question, there are two billion children. How many will there be in the year 2100? A, B, and C, and I have to, to be sure now. <laughs> Can't make a mistake of a billion. <laughs> it is C. It is C. In absolute numbers, the same number. So, what is Rosling saying with this test? He says, you have to know your numbers. To understand the world, you have to know your numbers. And the subtitle of this book is the title is Can we have the book again? Factfulness. And the subtitle of this book is why it is much better, it's going much better with the world as you think. And he is um, proving that with this, this kind of numbers. Now, why is it, why is it called a WEF -E test? Because it, the test was also done with 13 questions, not four, I made a selection of four out of 13. The, the, the selection was also done with a number of uh, the, the participants of the World Economic Forum. You know? the Davos uh, company. And you know that a lot of um, vaccine uh, sceptics are afraid of the WEF as a conspiracy platform. For me, if you are able to have a conspiracy, I think you should know facts. Sounds reasonable. You should know facts before you can start a conspiracy. Well, Rosling wanted to know for sure so he constructed a control group. He took the test from the WEF, and he also constructed a control group. And he wanted to, that control group to make scores at random, just at random. So he chose chimpanzees. So he was comparing the scores, the results of the WEF with the results of a tribe of chimpanzees. Who won? <laughs> by far, the chimpanzees won by far, because they scored, they made results uh, by by at, at random. So one third of their results was uh, was 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 okay. And the World Economic Forum, uh, about 15 percent was was all right. So the leaders of the world don't know their facts, and I can imagine that facts are sometimes difficult to remember sometimes difficult to, uh, to interpret, to, to, to give a meaning to, but they are important for uh, understanding our world.